Welcome to Creata classes. In this lecture, we will understand all about circumference of the circles, the basic concept and the formula, the proof of the formula and the concept of pi. Okay? Let's start with basic introduction to the circumference of the circle. Circumference is the total length of the boundary of the circle. This is similar to the concept of perimeter. Here in the circle, the linear distance of the boundary of a circle is known as circumference. Okay? We can use a thread or a wire to measure circumference of a circle. Just we have to measure the length of the boundary that will be the circumference of the circle. Okay? Before moving further to the concept of the circumference, we will understand the concept of pi. You might have seen this symbol. This is known as pi. So firstly we will understand the concept of pi. Okay? After that we will move to the circumference. We will understand this with a small experiment. Okay? I do these small experiments to make the concept way to your subconscious mind. I can directly tell you the formula of circumference and the area of the circle. But I will take you to the final formulas through the path of basic understanding of the concept. Okay? This will help you in long run. So just be with me and enjoy the experiment. Okay? I always say that you are most welcome to try the experiment with me. It will enhance your basic fundamental. Okay? So let's begin with the experiment. You can also try with me by pausing the video. Okay? Let's take three different circles of different diameters. Say 6 cm, 10 cm and 14 cm. We have to measure the circumference of the circles. Let's take a thread and measure the boundary of the circles. Okay? Circumference is the linear distance of the boundary of the circle. Okay? We will get the circumference of first circle as 18.8 cm. Okay, check with your figure. Have you also got the same length? Okay. Similarly, the circumference of second and third circle will be 31.4 cm and 44 cm. Okay, this is approx length. You might have gotten some mistake in the MMs. Okay, small error can be ignored. Okay, so we have got all the circumference of these three circles. Now the next step is, we will take the ratio of circumference to the diameter of these three circles. Okay? The ratio of circumference to diameter of the first circle will be 18.8 by 6 that is 3.14. Okay? We have got the ratio. Let's find the same ratio for the second circle. It will be 31.4 by 10 that is 3.14. Oh, we have got the same ratio as of the first circle. What a coincidence. Okay? Let's take the third circle. The ratio will be 44 by 14. That is 3.14. Oh, again the same value. This shows that ratio of circumference to a diameter of a circle remains same. That is 3.14. Whatever size of circle, you will take the ratio of circumference to the diameter will always comes out to be 3.14. You can check so. Take a huge circle and calculate the ratio. It will be 3.14. So we got that this ratio is constant and in mathematics this ratio has a special significance. This ratio is called pi and it is denoted by this special symbol. Okay? It is also written as 22 by 7 which will comes out to be 3.14. Okay? Pi has much greater significance but we will limit ourselves to this limit only. Okay? So we got circumference over diameter is equal to pi. So here comes the formula of circumference that is circumference is equal to pi into diameter. And we know diameter is twice of the radius that is circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Okay. This is the famous formula of circumference of circle. This is very famous. Okay. Now you got how this pi comes into the formula of circle. This is the fundamental that you should know. I would have directly started with this formula, but the concept of pi is very much for generating the basic fundamental. Okay? That's it for this video. We have covered all about circumference of the circle. Hope you have enjoyed it. Visit us at creataclasses.com. Link is given in the description. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Okay? Thank you very much.